So here we are with Mr. Root at Root Labs in Meta Vista, um, building orthotics, a lot of new technology in this field. So how does it start? So we have a uh, negative cast of the foot. This is a plaster of Paris mold that was taken by the doctor of the patient's foot, and that's sent to the lab. What we're going to do first is we're going to do a laser scan of this, so it'll create a digital representation of the foot into the laser scanner. And you'll see that there's a red line in here. The laser is now reading that surface. Oh, that's that quick, huh? Yeah. And there's a similar scanner that can be used directly on the patient's foot. And we've got the finished scan. So this is the foot. And there it is. We can get a 3D view of the foot, which I can manipulate and look at, so I can look at the patient's anatomy, um, and that is used by us in the, uh, in the prescription process. Um, but this allows us to examine the scan and make decisions um, about the prescription when we do the corrections uh, in this device. So I'll send this to the orthotic program. And so then I can come over here where we do uh, corrections on this. And I've got two sets of lines here. The white one, white dots represent the cast, and these blue represent the orthotic. It's basically just using a mouse um, and keys to create this device. So, Mr. Root, what, what are the skill sets you're looking for in employees? Well, somebody who's you know computer literate is is a big help because there's um, movement of files. For, if there's a modification in a prescription, they need to be able to make those changes. So they need to understand um, a little bit about biomechanics, which basically is the science behind the function of the foot, the basic understanding of medical terminology. In addition, um, you know, they, they need to have the ability to conceptualize, which some people have more aptitude conceptual conceptualization than others. Got a ha CNC. So that the top surface of the device has been milled, we're going to rotate the jig 180 degrees and we're going to mill the bottom surface of the device. Um, you'll see here in a minute when we run this, it'll do a tool change and then after using this one to do all these transverse cuts, it'll change tools and it'll use this pointed one to come in and cut out the perimeter of the device leaving a series of some small tabs so the device is still in place in the jig, but then we'll break those tabs, we'll cut those tabs to break the device loose. So let me get Adam up. Here's the head. Just flip the polypropylene sheet over, refixturing it down. We're going to run the back side of it. And there's one last blank right there. outside perimeter and then it'll leave the tabs it'll come up you can see it leaves the tab in place And that's the actual insole, right? That's the actual insole that go in the patient's shoe. Now it will get it will get ground down a little bit more. Some of the ex excess material will get removed from it, um, but then that will become the finished orthotic. So basically, this is actually used to measure the foot, but I'm going to demonstrate it on this plaster cast. But basically, we would draw a bisection line on the heel um, to to divide the heel into equal. Um, equal halves here, and then we would place this over this opening over that bisection line, and then you would line this up with the forefoot, and you would be able to measure the angular deviation in the forefoot. So in this case, this in individual has about six to seven degrees of what we call forefoot valgus.